think we need to recognise the real service that the Green Belt is doing for London in restraining urban sprawl and the real benefits that need to be delivered in the face of climate change and growing population. So it needs to work for biodiversity, for water quality, for health, for recreation. I don't rule out that you can't use uh, the Green Belt for housing and industrial sites and things like that, possibly, as long as it's properly decided so that the integrity of the services that the Green Belt provides, the multiple services, the integrity of those services are still maintained. That's what's important. Over 40% of our wildlife sites in London are within the Green Belt, uh, and they're critically important for the Green Belt to function as that kind of beautiful part of the countryside uh, that keep, helps to contain London. I think there's something wrong with the housing problem, there's a housing crisis and we need to address that, but the Green Belt isn't the answer. So I think we should reframe the Green Belt to make it greener and more accessible to overcome those criticisms that it isn't green, but it was never meant to be green, it was always meant to, you know, uh, uh, prevent urban sprawl.